I just heard like someone speaking a foreign language through a megaphone outside my house. Hello everyone, welcome to today. What was that? Ow, that was so weird. Okay, hi everyone, how are you? Today is a very stressful, busy day. I have so much freaking work to do to prep for the live show New Year's Eve. Make sure you get tickets if you haven't already. I have so much to do for this other project I'm working on, editing videos, like a million things. I'm very, very overwhelmed. But first, before I get into my day, I wanted to address something really, really quickly. <laughs> So basically a couple days ago, I, um, in a vlog, talked about how I was really sad because um, I saw a TikTok where a man was like, hey women out there, if you had 24 hours without men, what would you do? And I think he thought people would have fun, silly responses, but the first response that I saw was a woman saying, I would let my daughter play outside in the front yard and I wouldn't be afraid. And I was like, oh, that's so true. And it just made me sad. And so I was talking about how most women are afraid of men they don't know because of their personal experiences with men. In this video, I talked about how I love men, I think men are incredible, I don't hate all men, I think men are great, but it makes me sad that this is how a lot of us feel because of the mistreatment that we have had from men. I'm not gonna call it this person specifically, I'm not coming at anyone specifically, but this really upset me. This person said, and I know I shouldn't let comments upset me, <sighs> but it did upset me and so I wanted to say something about it. <clears throat> because they said, I love your content, I've always loved your stuff, but I can't watch you anymore since you've gotten on this all men are awful, train ever since the virus happened. So I'll have to wait to watch you again when the virus is done so you stop talking about how you hate all men. And basically kind of just went off on me for being a feminist and saying like that women are scared of men. First of all, sir, almost all of my comments on that video are people saying I feel the same way, I'm a gay man, I feel the exact same way about male strangers. When meeting a female, I always feel completely comfortable being 100% myself, knows with zero hesitation or fear. When it's a male stranger, I start to tense up with this uncomfortable fear and automatically use a deeper voice while also trying to hide any sign it could be different from them so they can't easily find a way to take advantage or hurt me. I feel you so strongly when you say you're scared of men you don't know. I had a few really bad experiences and even though my brother and dad and fiance are wonderful, I'm always scared of men that I don't know. When Colleen said, what would you do if there were no men for 24 hours? I immediately thought I would go run outside of any time of the day without pepper spray. Oh my gosh, when Colleen talked about being scared of men, I truly just realized anytime a man walks by me when I'm on a walk with my dog or something, I have the biggest panic and anxiety attacks and the most horrible possibilities run through my head. Ugh, oh, the world shouldn't be like this. The majority of the comments are saying that. So if the majority of people feel that way, then it is an issue, number one. Number two, this person's issue was that I said all men are bad and I'm on this all men are bad train ever since the virus. First of all, men mistreating women has nothing to do with COVID or coronavirus. Like I will feel this way about the mistreatment of women from men, regardless if there's a pandemic or not. For, I don't know why you thought this was related to the virus. But also you said that I was on an I hate all men train. Let me just, just kind of review the footage. Trust me, I do not think all men are terrible. I really, really don't, obviously. Like I'm married to a wonderful man. My best friend is a wonderful man. I have a wonderful son and my dad's an incredible man. I literally said the opposite of all men are terrible. I said, I don't think all men are terrible. Those are the words that came out of my crusty mouth. In this video, multiple times, I said, I think men are incredible. It makes me sad that I am scared of men that I don't know. That's what I said. I didn't say all men are terrible because I don't think that. I don't think all men are terrible. If I thought all men are terrible, would I have a best friend who's a man? Would I have a husband who's a man? Would I love my son who's male more than anything in the entire universe? Would I think my, my father is my hero and my grandpa is my other hero. Those are all men. I love, look up to, admire, and respect men who treat people with kindness and respect. So if you have an issue with me saying, hey, most people are afraid of men they don't know because of our personal experiences with men we don't know or men who have hurt us in the past, if that offends you, maybe you should look in inward and go, why is that offending me? Because that's like, that is something that we should all be concerned about. We should all be concerned about any Anyone being hurt or scared of someone or something like we sh that should concern us as humans if it doesn't concern you if it offends you maybe it's because it's hitting close to home and you need to do some some healing and some and some hard looking at yourself and saying am I treating people this way is that why this is hurting my feelings because I think she's talking to me because the men that I know and love aren't offended when I say things like that because they agree with me in fact I am a feminist and I'm a feminist because I want equality for all, which means I think there is unfair treatment of men. I think that's how we got to the place we are at now. I think men aren't treated the same as women and women aren't treated the same as men.
men. And I think men take advantage of women for a lot of different reasons, because they're allowed to, because there's not really any consequences in most situations, but also because they're taught that that's how it's supposed to be. And they're also taught that they're not allowed to express their feelings or emotions, or they're weak, they're less than, be a man, grow some balls. Those types of things are teaching pe men that they're not allowed to express themselves, talk about their feelings, think about their emotions and be rational with their thoughts. And instead of lashing out, actually communicate. Those are all important tools that they could learn if society wasn't teaching them that they shouldn't do those things. Do you see what I'm saying? Like I am a feminist just means I want equality and I want equality for men too. I said in the video, it makes me sad because it does make me sad. I don't want to be afraid of men. I said that in the video. I think that's not fair. I don't think it's fair to men. I don't think it's fair to women. I think that we should all be treated equally. And if that offends you, honey, I don't know what to do. Okay, my sister's here. I'm gonna go make some donuts. Rachel Ballinger is here. She is my sister. And I am going she's to She's a do, vegan. She's a vegan. <laughs> and I'm going to do Advent. Rachel, have you ever done Advent at my house with me? Well, she just fell on nothing. Like literally just fell, but for nothing. Like she didn't trip. We're starting with this one because I can then put it on my lips. Wow, you just did that. I opened it! Wait, it's blue. That can't be like a lipstick. It, has it says to be lip like a... oil. Okay. Wait, it's blue. What? You look very shimmery, Christina Aguilera. <laughs> that is not my jam. I just wiped it on my Ew, coffee table. Colleen. Don't touch that part of the coffee oh, table. This kid loves ranch. Who doesn't love ranch? ranch is he trying is ranch? With, oh, Flynn's trying ranch dressing for the first time. Which, by the way, I didn't know, but like, you can't get ranch in like England, apparently. <laughs> I have this awesome tour manager in Europe. Um, his name is Lee, I love him so much. Every time we go over there, he talks about how ranch is amazing and how he can't get it there. And so they like- just he, don't have ranch? I don't know, but he, like, he'll have, like my mom has sent him ranch packet so that he can make ranch dressing. Isn't that crazy? That's strange. I didn't know that, but he always, anyway, everyone loves ranch. Ranch is delicious. Rachel, we're gonna do the advent calendar of kindness. <gasps> five days till Christmas? It's five days till Christmas. I feel like Shops. it happened out of nowhere. Yes. Today's mission is send a letter or a card to your local hospital, police, or fire department and thank them for something they've done for you. If you haven't needed their help, simply thank them for being there. I actually saw a fire truck the other day with Flynn. We were on our walk and there was a big fire truck and the firemen were getting into it. And I from afar said, thank you for all you do. You did it. So I did it. You're doing your kids advent? Oh no, it's the craft, sorry. How <laughs> dare you think this is for children? <laughs> Apologies. <gasps> oh, bro. What's that? Oh my, no, not that one, not that one, not that one. This one, there you go. Whoa, cool! What is it, Flynn? Perfect. Forklift! Cool, that's awesome, say thank you. <laughs> that's Advent. I just got these donuts delivered to my house and I'm out. I've done uh, this before. Miss Minnie Donuts has sent me donuts before and you get to frost them yourself and they're actually freaking delicious. Look, we have cute Christmassy ones and cute like fruity yummy candy ones and we have Miranda ones. Are you kidding? That's so freaking cute. So I'm gonna do this right now. I invited Rachel over to help even though she can't eat them because she's a vegan, but she can help me decorate them. So this is gonna be really fun. We're gonna decorate some donuts and eat them. It's a nice break from all the work I have today. So. I'm very excited. Okay, Flynn's gonna join us. Okay, Flynn, I need you to stir you this frosting, okay? <laughs> so fun already. Whoa. So now, Flynn, what you're gonna do is you take a little donut and you dip it in there. Oh, you're growling. I don't know why you're growling. You dip it in here, you put it here, and then you sprinkle doo-doos on it. Which ones do you wanna sprinkle on? You wanna sprinkle the Christmas ones? Sprinkle the Christmas doo-doo on here. Put it on here. No, on, on the... <laughs> Put it on the donut. Put it on this. Decorate the donut. Put it on this. <gasps> that good job, good buddy. Good job, Lynn. That baby. looks great. Oh good my job. gosh, you, you want to do did another it. one? Yeah. You want to do more? Okay, we got to pick another color. Do you want green or red? Green. You want red? Stir it up. Stir, 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 stir. 
Baby, me a chew. He did that to my face earlier. Chew. Now we're gonna dip it in. Ready? And then you're gonna put some doo doos on it. Which kind of doo doos do you want? Which one? Which one do you want? You want those? Okay. Good job! Okay, put it on your donut. Put it on the green donut? Put it on the green one. Put it on the green one. Good job. Good job, Flynn. Now you can eat those. How's that? Pretty good? Yeah. Here are our finished donuts. All right, Flynn, you get to pick one. Which one do you want to eat? You want that one? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Pick it up. He wants the one that Rachel made. Rachel said that one is coal. Yeah, like when you get coal in your stocking. What do you oh, think? yeah. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. How's it taste? It's good. It's good? Yeah. Oh, good. Mm. Yeah, these are good, huh? I don't know, they're all so cute. I don't even know which one to pick. Flynn wanted another bite, so we're gonna share one. I'm gonna take a bite. I'm baby take a bite. Mm, oh my gosh, those are really good. Oh my god, Flynn. <laughs> Flynn. <laughs> They're really good, I don't blame them. Daddy. Yeah, Daddy eats it too, huh? Hi guys, I am overwhelmed and grumpy. It's like 10, 10.30. I'm just now like making actual food for myself to eat today. I mean, I've eaten food, but it's been like Flynn's leftovers and like random stuff I've found as I'm walking from one place to another. Or those delicious donuts. But I'm making Parmesan chicken. I love this recipe. I talk about it all the time. It's online and it's really fast. It's Ina Garden's like Parmesan chicken or something. Basically, you just take, I don't know what Eric put in this. Eric made this and now I'm like, it smells interesting. Okay, so you just dip your chicken, your pounded chicken in flour, salt and pepper, and then you dip it in some egg, scramble egg business, and then you dip it in Parmesan and breadcrumbs, and then you fry it just for like four minutes on each side, and then you put this yummy like lemony salad on top, and it's like, and I'm starving. So I'm gonna make that right now, and I'll talk to you guys later. with you, I feel like a total failure today. <sighs> I know I've talked about this in a vlog before, but it's one of those days where I woke up going like, all right, I'm gonna be so productive today. I'm gonna get this, 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 and this done. And then I'll have the whole week off to just celebrate Christmas with my family. And I won't have to do any work because I'll get all my work done today. And I worked so hard all day. I have this whole long to-do list of stuff to do. I'm not gonna show you because I feel like there's, I can't it show it to you actually because there's things on this list that you're not allowed to know about yet. I wrote this whole to-do list and I was like, I'm gonna get it all done. It's gonna be easy. I'm gonna just crush it. And so I started, I would start one of the things. Like I would start writing a song for the New Year's Eve show and then realize, oh, this is gonna take more time than I thought. I should do something else because I'm not getting anything accomplished. And so then I started editing a video. I was editing for a couple hours and I was like, oh, I'm not gonna finish this. I should do something else that I'm gonna finish. And then I started working on this other project and I couldn't get that done. And it was like that all day. So now I have like eight things that I started today that I didn't finish. So I didn't finish anything. So I feel extremely unaccomplished and disappointed in myself because I'm like, wait, I worked. I worked from the second I woke up until it's 12.30 in the morning now. I worked the whole day and I don't have anything to show for it. I didn't get anything done. And I'm so frustrated because my whole plan today was get all the stuff done and instead I somehow worked all day and got nothing done. I'm very frustrated. And I know that that's like, um, that's a really big symptom of like ADHD. Like that's what my therapist told me and that like that's, 
common, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating because I don't want, I didn't want to work today. I didn't want, the reason I had this whole big to-do list of all the crap I wanted to do and get done was so that I could just spend the rest of the week with my family. And now I'm like, wait, I worked all day and I didn't even want to work today. I wanted to play with Flynn today. I wanted to hang out with my family today, but instead I worked all day just so that I could hang out with my family the rest of the week, but then I didn't end up getting anything done. So now I'm going to still be doing all the same exact things I was supposed to do today, tomorrow, and probably the next day. And I'm just like frustrated. And I know this is not any, this is probably really annoying to everyone watching and like not relatable or interesting. It probably just sounds like I'm whining about something that's so dumb, but like I'm extremely disappointed in myself and really frustrated with myself right now. It just feels like no matter how hard I try to get everything done, I can't. And it's a really overwhelming, stressful, frustrating feeling. That's what keeps me up at night, ripping off my skin as I think about all the things I still need to get done. And I keep thinking, well, if I can just get the things done, then I won't have all that stress, but then I can never get the things done. And so then I just lay awake thinking about how I'm not gonna get the things done. And then I wake up the next day going like, I'm gonna get all these things done and then I don't get them done. And I feel so frustrated and so overwhelmed. So that's how I feel right now. And I'm, oh, I'm so, angry and annoyed and I'm like and even halfway through the day I remembered like oh you're supposed to set realistic expectations for yourself the expectations you set for yourself this morning were unrealistic there's no way you're gonna get all that stuff done so just get this one thing done just do this one thing and I couldn't and so finally Eric was seeing that I was having a meltdown and was just like okay stop and he like prepped dinner for me he's like go make dinner like just go relax like so I made dinner and I was like where do you want to eat dinner? Do you want to eat it and watch TV? You know, I was like grumpy. And he was like, let's sit down in front of the fire and eat dinner and play cards. And that was really nice. Like that was a good reminder to like take a breath. So I'm sorry to leave this on kind of a poopy note, but um, I want to be like upbeat and fun for you guys. But sometimes I'm just not, sometimes I'm just upset. And also uh, my shoulder pain is coming back so bad, you guys. And like, if you've been following me a long time, you'll know I have a tear in my rotator cuff and it's really, 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 really tiny. So it doesn't really bug me that often unless I get really stressed out and overworked. Like I know stress is a trigger for it. I also have been working a lot. So like my tendonitis, it's like spreading and stringing into tendonitis and it hurts so bad. And I haven't really had too many issues with my shoulder this year but it really hurts and I'm like don't do this right now I have so much editing to do like oh I can't have my shoulder break off <laughs> so anyway oh, yes, I, I am really sorry that I'm being oh <gasps> hello is that my husband or my cat oh Eric just came in and gave me a hug and it made me cry you know when you're like on the verge of tears and then someone like says like I love you or gives you a hug and it just makes it happen anyway oh, sorry for my wine fest so anyway, I had all these plans for like really fun Miranda videos and me videos for this week, but I don't know if they're gonna happen because I just wanna, whoa, relax. I wanna enjoy my family and not break my shoulder off. When Eric just hugged me, he said, everything's gonna be okay. And I don't feel that way. <laughs> And he was like, all we need is you mean Flynn. That's all we need. We just need you to be happy and healthy. And I was like, <laughs> so I need to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna go. I love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>